All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you our most exciting crested and gargoyle gecko holdbacks. All right, guys, so what I have here is a Deadpool offspring. Now, you guys know Deadpool is one of my favorite gargoyle geckos, and for good reason. Look at the red on this female here. Now, Deadpool throws a very deep uh, blood red to all of his offspring. And I almost like her better when she's not fired up because you could see the contrast between the red and the light background. But when she's fully fired up just like this, it almost all blends in together and it looks like a fully red gecko. So it's definitely a cool look. What I love about her is that she has those thick, deep red stripes down the back, but she also has those red lateral stripes that Deadpool does not have. So this is a this is an example of how we could improve what gargoyle geckos or any other gecko look over time with selective breeding. This female is about two years old. Typically, I like to wait two and a half to more likely like three years before I breed my female, especially my gargoyle females. Crested gecko females, I'll breed in two years if they're up to wait. But the gargoyles, I like to wait a little bit longer. I think they crash more often if they're too young. So I'll wait until she's three years old before I, I pair her. She'll be paired up basically this winter, um, December or January. This girl is so awesome. I hope that you guys could see how red she is and how much of that, you know, blood bread that Deadpool throws is on her. She is one of my favorite holdbacks of two years ago. So one of the most exciting projects that I have going on right now for the crested geckos are the super Dalmatians. Now this boy in particular is so special. First of all, because of the amount of Dalmatian spots that he has covering his whole body. And second of all, because he is a male. Now why I love my males is because you guys can just imagine how many females I could breed this guy to and spread those good genes to. What I love about this guy too is the amount of ink spots, the amount of oil spots, and just regular Dalmatian spots that he has going on on his body. Now one thing about the Dalmatians, especially like the yellow and the red Dalmatians, is that a lot of them, they don't have the best structure. Their crest size isn't fully developed as we would like them. So that's something that we have to try to improve. Now this guy, he has pretty average head structure, not a crowned head by any means, but it is nice and average. And average is better than bald when we talk about, you know, uh, Dalmatian crested geckos because a lot of Dalmatian crested geckos will have like basically no crest whatsoever. And this is a crested gecko, so we do wanna improve how these guys look over time. And one of those things that we gotta do is breed for better head structure and more spots with the Dalmatian project. Now these guys are, whoop, got her. Now these guys are one of the most exciting projects that I have coming up. As you can see here, this is an Asiantic crested gecko and this is a lily white pet Asiantic crested gecko. So he also carries the, the Asiantic gene, but he's not a visual. Now this is actually one of the most interesting Asiantics I've ever seen. She's very brown and she fires up dark gray, but she's completely unfired right now. And I caught her. So she, she has a lot of different coloration and a, a lot of different patterning and shades of brown and gray when she fires up. She's really neat. Her white is paper white. You can see it on the base of the tail here and even on her pinstripes and everything. What these guys are gonna produce when they breed together are full Asiantic lily whites. So I'm excited to see that project come to fruition because it's something that we've been working for for a long time and that's one of the most beautiful crested geckos that you could have right now is a lily white Asiantic crested gecko. Typically the lily white Asiantics will be black and white. No yellow, no red, no other colorations, just black and white. The contrast is insane. So that's why these guys are so special because eventually, um, probably by the end of the year or next year, they're gonna be breeding. They're gonna produce some of our coolest crested geckos we've ever produced here. So lily white head Asiantic and Asiantic gonna produce some killer animals. So this little gecko here is super special. I love everything about this gecko. The structure, the pattern, the color, everything. Now this is a hyper tangerine. He just pooped on me. It can't be a gecko video if they don't poop on me. This is a hyper tangerine line extreme Harlequin pinstripe and it has some white out as well on the sides. This guy is absolutely nuts. You can see the Harlequin markings on the sides are very high. They're reaching almost the dorsal. That's what makes it an extreme. 
the head structure on this guy is amazing as well. I love big crests, the long crests, you know, there's a big head and then there's big crests. The crests are the little spikes that they have protruding off of their head. And that's what I like when they're kind of, they almost look like they have hair. Now, this guy has that, his color is insane. The tangerine stuff throws crazy coloration, as you guys could see. And the pinstripes are perfect on this guy. There is not one missing pinstripe scale, so this is why we held this guy back. I actually don't know if it's a male or a female yet. I haven't tried to sex it. Either way, he's, it's staying here, and we're excited to be able to breed it in the next two years. So this female here is very special because her reds are super vibrant. A lot of my Deadpool stuff, it's very deep red and I love that there are some that are deeper than others. This girl here is completely unrelated to Deadpool or any of my gargoyle geckos here. So it's good to mix in new bloodlines and add some of this vibrant red into my projects. We have over, you know, 15 different bloodlines of red striped gargoyle geckos. So it's definitely good to keep the genetic diversity going and add things like this because it's definitely going to keep that high intensity color but it can also add something new, which is that vibrant red. I, be, I even have a male that's perfect for her that has really bright, vibrant reds as well. They almost look like highlighter colors. I'm excited to have this girl in the breeding program because you know she is completely covered in red. She has good laterals. And what I like about her a lot is that she has incredible head structure. Her gargoyle uh, knobs on top of her head right here are some of the best I've seen. They're very pronounced. And that is the reason they have their name, right? Gargoyles. That's something that we want to keep in the animals. We don't want to have gargoyles with bald heads, basically with flat heads. We want them to have bumpy heads just like this girl here. All right, guys. So this is the last holdback I'm going to show you today. And this is probably my favorite gargoyle gecko I've ever produced. The reason being, this is a Deadpool and Penny, well, Deadpool line and Pennywise offspring. Deadpool. Um, had a daughter that's really really awesome if you guys seen our videos way back then we actually posted a video on what you know in this group that we were going to put together and this was the offspring from that group this is probably the best offspring from that group so this thing is only about four grams at most probably three grams and you could already see all the saturation of red and orange that's coming through I mean look at the head on this thing it already has eyebrows, it already has lipstick on the top of the head, it already has some red coming in, and the laterals are so thick. They almost look like the back stripes over here of how thick they are. Typically, laterals on, on gargoyle geckos are kind of like broken up, but this guy, they're full laterals, and the red goes all the way down to the tip of the tail. This thing is going to blow up in color in the next two years. It's going to be insane. When this thing hatched, it barely had any color. If you guys know, that's why bloodlines are important. That's why you want to make sure you get animals from a you know, respected bloodline because by the time they start to color up, it's going to make a, a world of a difference. They all look pretty similar when they're babies, but oh my god, this thing's going to be insane. Uh, and he's already insane, but look at the color on this thing. And again, this is a Deadpool daughter to Pennywise. The color on this thing is going to be incredible. Alright guys, what a better way to close out this video than with this beautiful gargoyle gecko. Thank you guys for watching. If you like our so social media and our YouTube videos and all that stuff, please make sure you follow us on our website because our Instagram just got shut down. And if you want to know what we're doing, make sure you go to our website and you sign up to our email newsletter. But we will have more gargoyle geckos available soon. So check our website for any updates. Thank you guys and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.